Hey guys, so here we are. Just met Mr. Duck at his uh, factory in Acton. Just come over to, uh, to get the things set up on the website and uh, got all that sorted out. Fridge has just come on. Uh, so tell us, how was, you've been in Acton for how long? Uh, two years. Right, and you've set the manufacturing up in that you, you built a purpose built shed or oh, factory at the bottom of the garden, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Did that take long? I mean, was it from oh, yeah, the garage yeah. to, to Yeah, a... it took me two years to put that uh, at uh, the norm. Yeah, yeah. And it's all, it's just amazing. I, I just, to me, guys, artisan food is, is, you know, when somebody has a passion and they turn their passion into a product and then take it out into the market, but to actually create your food manufacturing at home in a, in a purpose built factory is blown me away. My family business, Patchwork, you know, we had a, started at home and then sort of expanded uh, the kitchens at home and then built sort of factories outside of town. So you're definitely at the early stages of, yeah, yeah. of growth. Yeah. So you started chefing at Hold? Uh, yeah, I started at 10. I started at 10 uh, with, uh, in the restaurant of uh, my uncle and things like that. Yes. Right. And then from there you went on to? After that, I, I started uh, start at 15 to, to do a proper uh, mm. education of cooking. And, uh, mm. and after that, on and on. And after that, you know, you start mm. as a commie and you finish at, uh, as a chef in a restaurant right. and uh, things like that. Yes. But you said you were doing a lot of pastry chefing as well to start with. Yeah, that yeah, yeah been I, amazing. Did, I did because I did uh, six mm. years of learning. So I started mm. as two years of uh, chef. Uh, one year more, and after that, cooking, pastry, and mm -hmm. uh, chocolate, ice, ice, ice maker, and things right. like that. Yes. Cool. Yeah. And so, where's the passion for the duck come from? I mean, that, is that something that you've been working on for a while? Yeah, that's something. Uh, my, my grandmother used to do uh, mm. a duck coffee at home and things like that, mm. and I used to like it. And, uh, and it's something you know I have in my heart. I like uh, I like the duck. It's a, it's a very good animal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Guys, this is also won two gold stars this year at the Great Taste Awards. So I know you, everyone follows the Great Taste Awards. There's a great section on the on the website for it. But guys, two two gold stars tell you that the group of four chefs, four sorry, food people tasted the product, loved it, and then about six or eight other people went on to give it two out of possible three stars. So that's a really high award. Not many products in the UK get the full three stars. So two is is amazing achievement. So uh, so that's that's awesome. Well done on that. Thank you, George. Farguar is one of my favourites, I must admit. So, yeah. so, again, any recommendations on what to drink with it? Well, uh, Sauterne or mm. Mubasillac, or you know, mm -hmm. the champagne, you can drink it as you want. Mm -hmm. You can uh, eat it as you want with mm -hmm. what you want. It's mm -hmm. simple. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. No, that's also, that's, guys, that's a great point. Now, a lot of people might not be familiar with the uh, roulette. Lariette. So, just roughly, how, what would you, again, I heard you say earlier, just, on a, just as a starter yeah. or canopy. Yeah, I mean it's very simple. You know, you just put that on the table and uh, you just pick it up and uh, you know you have some toast on the side and everybody tartin it on the, you know like put it on the bread and eat it like that. It's very it's very sweet. It's not sweet. It's very uh, smoothie and uh, right. it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Guys, definitely give that one a go. And this is my favourite, the uh, the smoked duck breast. I mean that is really. I also I meant to say you smoke at home as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, got we a do, little we do all the smoking there. Yeah, yeah. All the smoking. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. How long does it take to smoke it? Smoke a duck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for for starting for uh, from the start when we received the, the raw duck and uh, to do to do smoking, it took us ten days to do it because right. there is a drying process as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you dry the duck and then and then smoke. Yeah, it. we dry and we cured it, uh, dry it, and after that smoke it. And there is a drying section after that as well a bit. Yeah. Right. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> I think you're smoking a duck. Sorry, uh, guys. This is just amazing. I mean, uh, you know, just again with a piece of plate. You said, mentioned earlier. With roast potatoes. Yeah, because you know you can roast some potatoes and put some uh, some uh, on top of that at the last minute, and right. it's going to, to give like a bacon, you know. But mm. don't cook it because otherwise it's mm -hmm. going to be too salty. Okay. But if you put it mm -hmm. at the last minute like that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, like warm potatoes just yet, and it's very good, yeah. Guys, that's definitely on the menu to try at home. Uh, that sounds really nice. Roast potatoes with the smoked yeah, duck and roast and on the, the top, you put the slice on and the then on the plate. plate. Guys, that's a definite try that one. Thomas, thanks a lot, mate. Always a pleasure. Well, thank you. Virtual Farm Market. No worries. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, guys. You bye.